Hello friends, welcome back to CAD Practice. Today we are going to construct a tire in Autodesk Inventor software and learn the Autodesk Inventor basic commands. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter, and go to create. Now take here 2D sketch. We'll select the XY plane. Here take the arc command, three point arc, and make one arc profile. Okay, now here go to dimension. We will select this point or select this, select this, give dimension 26.5. Okay, go to vertical constraint, select this center, select this center. Now go to line command. We will make the internal profile, select this. Make a straight line, select here, here, and here. Okay, escape. Select this line, make it vertical. Now go to dimension. Here, define this straight length 3.6. Define this 1.78. And define this from here. 5.85 okay now define this distance from center as 24 and define this from center this distance as 26 okay now select this point and select here okay it is not selecting the center point go to line command Select the center and select here. Escape. Select this line, make it construction. Go to dimension, define this as 33 mm. Escape. Now, here you can see one thing it is in a moving form. So, select this line, make it vertical constraint. Now, you can see the profile is constrained. Okay. Now, here Go to the mirror command. Here we will take mirror. Select all the profiles. Go to mirror line. Select the center line. Apply and done. Now here go to offset. Select this profile. Drag it inside. Make distance 1.27. And escape. Okay. Select the line. Make a joining profile. And make one joining profile here. Okay, scale. This is fully constrained sketch. Finish sketch. This will be the profile for the tire. Take revolve. For axis, go to origin. And here I will select x axis. So we will make the outer profile. Press OK. Okay. Now we have to make the pattern design. Go to part 3. Now we want to make this pattern here. Go to part 4. For pattern design, select XY plane, go to create sketch, go to view, visual style, change it to wireframe. Okay, now you can see the hollow profiles. Sketch again, take arc command, three point arc, make one arc here. Okay, go to project geometry, project this face, project this face, go to the vertical constraint, select this point, select this point, select this and select this. Dimension, define the radius here as 32.3. Okay. And here select this point and select the center, define this 29.5. Okay. Now here go to vertical constraint. Here we will select the center point and select this center point. Okay. Escape. Now here you can see one thing. It is in a moving form. Okay. And here also. So go to coincident, select this point, select this profile. Or <coughs> to make it constrain, select horizontal constraint, select this point. 
and select this point. Now this is fully constrained. Okay. Finish sketch. Double click sketch two. Select this yellow profile. Make it construction. Select this profile. Make it construction. Finish sketch. Here take revolve again. Select this profile. Go to view. Visual style. Change it to shaded edges. Okay. Now you can see this making a open profile. So I'll click here on surface. For axis, we will select the x axis. Okay. For profile, we will select this profile. Now, here you can see a slight profile of red color. Now, here I'll define the angle. I want an angle of 90 degree. So, I'll click on symmetric and press OK. Okay. Now, here go to 3D model and we will take the fillet command. Take a fillet radius of 3.2, select this edge and select this edge and press OK. Now you are able to see the inner profile which you have made. Okay. Now here go to plane, take offset from plane and we will select the mid plane. We will select the exit plane, take offset of 35 mm and press OK. Select this new plane, go to create sketch, here rotate the profile and here go to the arc command, take three point arc, we will start from this end, ok, make one arc here, go to line command, make one straight line, escape, go to arc once again, make one arc here, small arc and make one straight line ok and scale now we will define the dimensions go to dimension define this as radius 23 ok now select this point and here select this point ok now here first we will define the horizontal distance. So the horizontal distance will be 19.4 escape. Okay. And the vertical distance here we will define. We will drag this down. Go to dimension. Select this point. Select the center. Define this distance as 8.3. Okay. Now here go to tangent constraint, select this line, select this, select this and select this, select this and this. Escape. Now all the profiles are tangent to each other. Go to line, third dimension. Select this line, define the distance 2.6. Here define this radius 1.6. Okay. Now select this corner. And select this outermost. Okay. So the outermost profile will be this. Define this distance as 3.2. And here select this point. Okay. It is going upside. Escape. Drag it down. Go to dimension. From center. Define this vertical distance as 7.2. Okay. Now escape. Now here you can see the profile has been changed. Okay. So we'll drag this complete profile down. We have to shift the profile. Now here we are left with okay. Go to distance and dimension. Select this point and select this. Define this 6.2. Okay. Now this is fully constrained. Now I want a similar profile, a thickness here. So I'll take offset. Select this profile, drag inside, take offset of 1 mm and escape. Now here, go to extend, select this profile, so it will extend up to this line, go to line and make a joining profile. For here, go to arc, take 3 point arc, select this point, select this point, ok, it is not selected properly, escape. Go to arc once again, 3 point arc, select this 
and select this. Now here you can see the tangent profile. Okay, go to dimension, define this distance again, 1 mm. Okay, go to tangent, select this, select this. Now this is also constrained. Okay, escape, finish sketch. Here take extrude, flip the direction, and here we will take 2 and select this surface. Till this surface, the extrude will be done. And here we will take cut and press OK. So this groove will be done up to this phase. Select this profile, revolution 1, right click, turn off the visibility. Select this plane, right click, turn off the visibility. Go to home view. Now we have only one profile. So go to circular pattern, select extrude 1, rotation axis. Select the x axis, count will be 15 and press OK. Okay, now I want a similar pattern. Uh, so I will mirror this profile, go to mirror, extrude 1 and circular pattern 1. Mirror plane, select the mid plane, the y z plane and press OK. Okay, so pattern will be created. Now to give the appearance, I will take the rubber finish. So, I will take rubber black version 1.1. For this profile or pattern, you can define the color, select all these three features, and here define white color. Okay, enter. So, this will be more visible. So, this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a tire profile in Autodesk Inter software. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do it like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.